Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to add custom fonts to your WordPress website. <laughs> Before I get into that, you can check out more WordPress tutorials over on my website, or you can enroll in my WordPress for Beginners 2023 no-code WordPress masterclass on Udemy, and I'll include all the relevant links from this video in the description. All right, so let's get into it. For starters, we are going to add a plugin, but for those of you who are wary of plugins, just know that this plugin was actually developed directly by the WordPress team when they released WordPress 6.0. So it's been optimized for WordPress. It's not going to add a bunch of bloat to your website, and it's a pretty simple plugin that works really well. So what we'll do is go to plugins, add new, and we're gonna come up top here to search and type create block themes and hit the enter key. So we'll come over here to create block theme and we're gonna hit install. You'll see it's compatible with the latest version. And once that's installed, we're gonna come over here and click activate. So with our plugin activated, next what we need to do is actually deactivate our security plugin temporarily, just because it does interfere with this process. So what I'll do is come over here. In my case, I have the SG security plugin and I'll come over here to site security. And right here, you'll see it says disable themes and plugins editor. Just come over here and toggle that off. Again, this is totally temporary. We're gonna come back and turn that on. So once you've turned that off, we're gonna go to appearance, manage theme fonts. This will appear if you properly installed that plugin to your WordPress website. So here you're gonna see the fonts that come with your theme by default. So with the latest WordPress themes for WordPress 6.0 and up, there's really not gonna be that many fonts. I think they do that to keep things lightweight, but what we'll do is come over here to add Google font. And this method is known as adding linked fonts. So these fonts will link to the Google Fonts website, so they're not hosted directly on your website. That does add a little bit of loading time to your website, but not much. So now we're just gonna come over here to select font, and then you can search through all of the available Google Fonts, so obviously there's a lot of them. In my case, I'm gonna come over here to Newton, and now you're gonna see all of the available font variations for the Newton font. I'm gonna check this box here to add all of them, but you can add them one by one, or in other words, only add the variants you need. So you'll see the selected variants over here. You can always delete them if you want using the little trash can icon. You also have this demo text here where you could demo your font. So just type something random. I want to demo this font. And you can change the font size. Or you can come over here and change this so you can either preview this as a heading or a paragraph if you wanted to use this font as paragraph text. So I'll come over here, click reset, and I'm happy with my choices, so I'll come over here and click add Google fonts to your theme. So you'll see a little success message here, Newton font added to 2022 theme, and this does work for 2023 as well. So I'm just gonna click the back arrow and now you're gonna see that Newton font and all six variants listed here. So I can click that down arrow and there you'll see all those fonts. You can of course click remove to remove any of these variants or remove font family to get rid of the entire font family. That will just uninstall those fonts. Once those fonts are added to your website, you can come over here to appearance editor. And this is gonna bring you to the site editor and just click here on the main content area and then come over here to the styles icon. And now we'll come over to typography and any text elements you can now click on here. So let's go to headings and under font, you're now gonna see that brand new Newton font we just added. And then you can also change the appearance here. And you'll see that my heading here won't update and the reason for that is I need to come over here and click on H1 so the font here is set to Source Serif Pro. I need to change that to Newton. So there it will update and I can just do that down the line if I wanna make sure all of these are set to that new font we just added. And once we're ready, we can come over here and click Save and click Save again. And now our site has been updated with our brand new font. So let's come back here and click the logo and click the logo again. The last thing we need to do here is we need to turn our security plugin back on. So let's come over here to SG security and site security. And then right here, we're gonna just enable that once again. 
and you should get that success message and that means everything's good to go. And that's how you install custom linked fonts to your WordPress website. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.